Welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, the Facebook page on YouTube. So what are my thoughts today? Well, I'm finding it a laugh that every time I put on Facebook there's some sort of new breaking news and uh, it's, it's all DC. I, I mean, granted maybe people I'm, I'm around or connected to are all about DC but I'm, I'm talking about these so-called journalist newsreels, you know, comicbook.com, you know, people share things. You know, people that are friends with us, they, they share the, the latest news, so I get all this garbage. And I, I find it garbage because I know that they're not journalists. I mean, just recently, Zack Snyder debunked the, the time run on the films, on Justice League, the, how long it runs for. And he says he sent some sort of... Now, I didn't know this, but in... In the, the tweet, he was talking to his producer uh, or editor, whatever, John Berg, and he didn't actually know the, the editor how long the film was because a lot of these reports were stating that it was three hours long. Now, I'm all up for a three hour film, as as you may have heard on my other videos. If not, I'll, I'll put a, a wee link down below. Uh, I'm all up for a three hour, I'm all up for a four hour. You know, stick an intermission in between, go to the toilet, whatever. Uh, I have a wee bit of Batman v Superman tune playing while you wait with your, your ice cream. So I'm I'm all for that. I don't think, you know, it all goes back to Lawrence of Arabia and all the classic movies like that. So time wise doesn't bother me, but for some reason it bothers these so-called journalist pages about how long it is. So Zack Snyder came back and basically he took, you know, he took the piss uh, out of the so-called news and said, you know, he cut it for IMBD. Now, I didn't know that they're meant to somehow get a, any sort of news and how long the film is, or he's meant to send an, an, a version of it to them first. So it's, it's really amazing how the film is already, you know, the film is somewhere, it's November, so there's a few months, yeah, you know, there is, this is a lot of months, this is just now, it's March, so it's January, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, right, so there's eight months, right, to go, so, of course, they're still editing the film. They're still putting CGI special effects onto the film. And you cyborg all your doubters and stuff like that. So they're still putting the film together and finding out what what is best. And so, Zack Snyder's gone on the webpage and saying, Oh, look, they're discussing how long my film is now. No, oh, it's three hours, is it? Oh, well, Warner Brothers doesn't like three-hour films. They like to cut my films in bits. But Warner Brothers, did you know my film is, is, uh, is they, they're saying it's three hours, did you know that? Uh, they know shit. And, there's, and whenever they post the news, a day later they come back and, and they try to sort of, because Zack Snyder's tweeted this, they try to rebunk it. You know, they try to say, oh well, this is, this is the real news here. It's like, do you have nothing else to talk about apart from DC? I mean, do you know that, that you may actually be giving DC free advertising here? I mean, I mean, not that I want to listen to some sort of Marvel news or anything like that. You know, I, I love DC. DC, I, I would love to get new news. But I'd like the news to be real and to be uh, thought-provoking or something that's worth a read. And so these web pages, I'm I'm hoping that people will start clicking off them, and maybe those web pages should realise themselves. The more press they talk, the more likely they will lose um, followers. Of course, I don't follow any of them. You know, I do not follow any of them. Where where do I get the news? I I just get the news from. I would say reliable sources, but no, I just take the, 
I just basically take news that sounds and I print news that sound legit. You know, uh, when I read the news, I don't go and say, you know, oh, wait a minute. Now, here's another thing. Zack Snyder, they've the been a post saying, Zack Snyder doesn't want his film to be three hours. He doesn't want to put people, uh, you know, snoring. Nobody will be snoring during the film. And these are all daft posts I've been seeing. Uh, and I, I clicked on YouTube and there was Collider again. The page I used to follow and respect. And they were saying, because there is, but, um, I mean, it might have been a month old video, you know, but it just came up. And it said, uh, because of the new director now on Batman, does that mean Ben Affleck is safe? I went, what do you mean safe? He wasn't going anywhere. You know, he's doing this film for the kids and for the deal he's got with Warner Brothers. He's been noted as one of the best Batman. There's a Batman film coming out. There's a Justice League film coming out that are probably going to blow the box. So why do you have to report this? Maybe they're just listening to daft people out there that's posting these silly questions and these silly questions actually come from them themselves because they're the ones that are responsible for putting the, ba um, the bad notion out there in the first place. You know, maybe Collider or groups like that posted something like, new director for Batman, Ben Affleck's job is safe. Then it goes on to, you know, then somebody's reading it and, oh, Two weeks later, the guy asks his questions. Is it safe? Is, is his job? Is, is Ben Affleck? And then, of course, they make another YouTube video of that and they get all the cash. It's something along those lines, right? It's, it's, it's ridiculous about the fact that Zack Snyder and Ben Affleck and everyone actually has to pull people in. And when they pull people in to see what's happening on the studio, what do they do? They still twist it and they still make news and and it's uh, and they they're just trying to save face. Most of these groups and pages or whatever that post this nonsense is um, because they get found out because a director has took the time to debunk whatever lies they're spitting. They have to then come back at them again. I see. So let me. Let me know your thoughts. Um, as I said, the film is still a long while way away. I would love a three-hour film. I'd like it all, you know, thank and now there's talk about Thangarians in it, you know, in the back. People will take one picture and a wee tiny wee image and, oh, that looks like wings or there's a speck of dust. Is that the atom? And then that's news all of a sudden. That's news. Oh, the atom may be in it or Barbara Gordon. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's, again, what I've always said, I, I wait until Warner Brothers confirms something. That there's no point in speculating and who's in it and what actor is doing it. See, when you start, and then there's these websites saying, this is the, the this is an actor that's up for the role, and the majority of the time, the, the, the actors never even heard of being offered the role. So now we've got Henry Cavill even gesturing that Amy Hammer could be Green Lantern. We had April Fool's Day where everybody's saying, oh, Zack Snyder is, is, is Hal Jordan. Oh, it is, a twisted, it is a, a twisted world of fake news out there, people. And seeing less people like myself out there, people like uh, J. Rohr, uh, Film Junkie, people, find the people you trust, and if they say it, I, I would go for them. Not because they they may be big DC fans of bias, but when you start listening to them, they speak a lot of sense. So that's the only advice I can give to you just now. And this is my thought of the day. Okay? What are you thinking? Let us know in the comments below. And please like and subscribe and check the Facebook page of the, of the same name. Thank you.